I'm coming to join you, honey. And your dummy son, he brought me a wooden overcoat. Oh, What's the matter with you? Them coffins, ain't they? Of course they're coffins, but they can't hurt you, Pop. Listen, come over here. Don't bother me. Would you come Don't over here? Don't touch me. I'm not going near them things. Would no. you just take it easy? I, listen, now, listen, that. listen. There's nobody in here. Listen. Anybody in there? No. Don't do that. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen coffins before? Yeah, but not in my own backyard. Get them out of here. I paid $25 for these. I don't care what you paid for them. Get them out of here. Would you listen to me, Pop? Now, we can make ourselves a nice little profit on these things. I bought them at an auction. Now, nobody else would bid on them. Nobody would bid on them but an undertaker and a dummy. <laughs> now, you ain't no undertaker. <laughs> Would you stop that and start thinking like a businessman? Now, I'm telling you, Pop, we can make 100% profit on these things. So what's wrong with them? I don't know. Maybe they last year's model. <laughs> you know, coffins are like bathtubs, Pop. They never go out of style. I don't like bathtubs. I'd take a shower. Let's get them out of here. Would you listen to me, Pop? Now, we all have to go sometime. Now, somebody's going to need these coffins, and they'll come and take them off our hands. Well, I hope if they need them, they come and take them before they need them. <laughs> and that's when we'll make ourselves a nice little profit on the deal, OK? OK, but they ain't staying out in the yard. Of course not. They're going in the house. What? <laughs> well, you don't think I'm going to leave them out here, do you? They'll get ruined out here. Well, they ain't going in the house. Well, they're not staying out here. And they ain't going in the house. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Over my dead body. <laughs> well, that's one share we got. <laughs> Which one do you want? I think they're both the same size. And they're a good color, Pop. Brown will go with anything. And so will this brown go with anything. <laughs> you grab the other end when I slide this out, OK? <laughs> I ain't going in first. <laughs> Make me feel like a pallbearer. It's a bad sign. Have coffins in the house. You believe all them silly superstitions, don't you? Don't open an umbrella in the house. Don't put your shoes on the table. Don't put your hat on the bed. Put it right down here. And what's that other one you told me that time? Oh, yeah. A cat yowling at midnight means there's going to be a death in the house. Come on out here and help me get the well, other you can, one. You can think what you want to. But it happened, happened that my cousin Richard cat yowled and yowled and yowled outside the house all night. And he found him the next morning dead. Pop, the cat was yowling because he never saw anybody that liquored up. And that's for your cousin Richard. They found him dead, all right. He was dead drunk. <laughs> sure don't like to touch these things. Could you get in there? I ain't, I ain't going in first. <laughs> Say, Pop, haven't you ever heard that old saying, the second time through, you got to go feet first? Oh. I didn't, I didn't remember that. Yeah. OK, <laughs> you're right. You see that? Now, I just made that up, and you believe me. <laughs> now, that's how superstitions get started. Yeah.